Hello and welcome back to my Ultima 4 series where we are going to continue where we left off. Uh, we are still here around Moonglow. We're actually in Moonglow right now. I want to take a look at my stats and show you some things that uh, I did a little work. I did a little work uh, over the uh, off camera and we're going to look at that. First of all, let's look at our stats. Uh, I, I've been doing some research and I've, I've learned what MP is. That's magic points and that's what kind of spells I can do. As a mage, my magic points are pretty high. Um, you also notice I'm still level two, uh, even though I've got uh, almost 400 experience points here. And apparently the reason for that is we have to go to Lord British and talk to him to be able to uh, get to a level up. I should actually be at level three right now. When, uh, when I hit uh, 200, I should have popped up, I think. I looked at it. It's kind of a, lot, a logarithmic scale, according to this one website I found. So I probably should be level three. And then when I get up to 400, I think I'm going to be level four. So probably by the time we get to Lord British, I'm just going to skip right to level four. So we need to make it back to, to Lord British's castle. Uh, so looking at uh, Iolo, you can see that he is only got 13 magic points. So there are some basic spells that he could do, but he couldn't do anything too complicated um, because there are, are some spells, well, all spells have a minimum number of magic points that you need to have. And some of them are five or 10 or whatever. Iolo could do those. Some of them are 20 or 40 or whatever. He could not do those. He's also due for level up, as you can see as well. So We've got to deal with that. Um, I'm down to 22 daggers, so we need to find some place to get daggers. Uh, if nothing else, when we go back to Lord Britain, I bought these daggers at, um, at, at the town of Britain, so we can go do that. Um, no armor, extra armor besides what we're wearing. Still have the one torch, no gem, no keys. We have our rune of justice, so we can see here which room we have. We just have that one. So we need to go to some of the other places we've been to. We need to find the rune um, because that's important. That's an important thing we need to have. You see, I've got a bunch of reagents here, more than I had. Uh, I did a bunch of spending of money. You might notice, I think we had like 800 gold and now we're down to 400 and something. Uh, well, 416. I, I did a, spent a lot of time buying reagents and mixing spells. And here are our spells. You see, we have a whole plethora of spells now. So we've got, still have our blink spell. Um, and uh, we just have one of those. Uh, the C is our cure spell. I made six of those. So that will, if we get poisoned, we can, I can cure myself or some member of the party. We have 15 fireballs. So I think that that's good to be getting on with. We got a lot of offensive capability there. H is healing, so we've got now um, six healing spells. So, um, you know, if we're in combat and somebody's really, really uh, down on health and we can't wait to get out of combat, uh, I can I can do an emergency heal on them. Uh, so that that's a key spell to have. We've got light, which is the L spell. Uh, so I was worried about only having one torch because we obviously have some dungeon speed lunking to do. Uh, and not a concern anymore. Not a concern because the light spell, it's so low level, even Iolo can do it. It's really easy on reagents. Uh, it only needs sulfurous ash, which is, how much of that do I have? I have eight of them. Um, it's, I think, one of the cheapest reagents we can buy. So we, we, we are cool for light going forward. Uh, I'm not at all concerned now about, I need to buy torches. We, we, we got that covered. So um, we've got our magic missile. We still have four of those. Uh, interesting thing about the reagents, um, the magic missile and the fireball share the same um, reagents that being uh, black pearl and sulfurous ash. And so the reason I accidentally made magic missiles uh, a few episodes back was because the order with which you use them matters. If you do sulfurous ash and then black pearl, you get a fireball. If you reverse those two, you get a magic missile. 
So I, I think I find fireballs more effective than magic missiles. And I like kind of knowing, hey, they're really injured or they're just dead. For a lot of the people that we've, or the people, for a lot of the, the beings that we've been fighting thus far, um, it's been a one kill, one shot kill. So whereas magic missile, it seems, you know, it's, it's obviously hurting them to some extent. We can't tell what, I don't know if it's really doing much in the way of good there or not. I mean, it's probably doing a little bit of good, but it's not doing a great amount of good. The O spell, that is for open. So that is how we have a couple doors that we run into that we need to unlock. Where there's that Oak Grove door, and then back at uh, Yalom, we've got the the room at the inn where potentially our companion is waiting for us. So we've got six open spells. Um that uh, we can use for that. We've got uh, Protect, the Peace Spell. We have two of these. So we starting in these, these are kind of like um, kind of last ditch spells. So Protect Spell is going to protect our party. It's like a force field that's going to protect our party. I'm kind of going to save that, you know, keep that in our, in our magical quiver, if you will, for we're fighting somebody that's really a big bad and maybe a little bit higher level than us, and the fight isn't going exactly how we want it to go. So, we have two of those. I think that'll do us. Because, like I say, it's only in time of need. Similarly, we have the Q for quickness. I have two of those. So, that's that spell. We remember we met the author. Um, I don't remember which town that was at. Uh, but this will enable us in combat. We're moving faster. We can get, uh, like, two attacks or two movements uh, in for every turn. So it's basically two actions for every turn. So we have a couple of those. Again, it's not something I'm going to use all the time in combat, but once again, at need, if we have a, if we have a tough, tough enemy, enemy, uh, we've got the sleep spell, another good one, another good one, It'll put everybody to sleep. And then the exit spell. And I thought this was a cool spell because if you are, um, in a dungeon and you've worked away all the way to the bottom and you know, you've gotten what you're there for and you just want to leave. You don't have to reverse your course and go back through with the exit spell. You can take your whole party right back outside, right to the entrance. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought I had a dispel spell. I could have sworn I did one of those, but I'm not seeing it. So I'm not quite sure what's happened with that. Dispel. There is the spell. Maybe I just didn't mix one up. Uh, I can worry about that later as, as, as needed, but I thought that was a cool spell because uh, it enables you to eliminate a force field. You know, like we saw those force fields that were next to the Ankh um, at, uh, I think there was an Empath Abbey. Uh, we could turn those off and maybe see if they're, if they're hiding something. That might be interesting to do. If we get, when we get back to Empath Abbey, because we need to go back there. That might be something. Mix one of those up real fast and, and try that out. I thought I had one, but apparently I do not. There are a couple other spells that, that looked interesting. Um, a couple of the spells I, I can't mix. So there's gate travel, uh, and that just enables you to, to travel to a particular gate any old time you want, even if you're not near another gate. Uh, the problem with that is is uh, the, the, uh, the spell spellbook tome that is provided with the game says every every uh, mage must learn the the um the formula for themselves and that there's some sort of curse attached to it i'm imagining it's probably something we'll find in game at some point uh so i don't know what that is there's also a resurrect spell kind of the same kind of deal i think the the gate travel spell was supposed to have some sort of a curse attached to it and then the resurrect spell was kind of considered to be, um, no, nah, I'm thinking of a different spell. Uh, and then there's our, there, there are a couple of reagents, uh, uh, one of Nightshade and Mandrake Root. Uh, both of them uh, are our friendly reagent guy here in Moonglow doesn't have, uh, doesn't sell those. And apparently they are only found in the wild. So I'm guessing maybe, I'm not quite sure how that works. Maybe it's uh, dropped uh, in chests after we kill particular enemies in certain locations, because it is in certain locations. So uh, we'll have to look for that, because there's some cool um, cool uh, like uh, uh, spells like Jinx um, that we can 
that we can cast with those, but they're really rare. So we're going to have to to learn to not um, uh, you know rely on those. So those are our spells. I think we're in pretty good shape on that. So what I want to do, I, I think we're done in Moon Glow. There's not, nothing else we need to do here. You'll see I, I, uh, I, I, we rested and healed. So we're back to full health, both, both Iolo and myself. What I think I want to do before we start going um, to the Moon Gates, and I'll probably start with um, going to Lord British's castle, I want to go back up here to Empath Abbey. No, I'm sorry, to the, to the uh, Lyceum. And as a matter of fact, let's go back to the map briefly. Um, I've done a bit of work on this map. You'll see that I've labeled everything that's got a label on it. So things like spirit wood and the high steps and all this, they're in the, in the, in the black text. Um, so the, we can see what these places are because there's really nothing in game is going to tell us about that, about what they are uh, necessarily. So I went ahead and did all that translation and put all that. My other labels here, I actually color-coded them. So our little towns like Moon Glow and You and Lord British's Castle, uh, they are in blue. Uh, the, I don't know, know what to call them, but the smaller castles like the Lyceum and Empath Abbey, they are in green. Our shrines are in purple, like the Shrine of Justice and the Shrine of Valor, which is on that lower island there. We can actually see it. I'll have to point it out next time we get there. I remember seeing it when we come in from the Moon Gate. It's on that other island. Um, we will have to... So there's the Shrine of Valor. So we've got two of the shrines identified. So there's, what, six more shrines we have to find. And then um, the dungeons, we just have Dungeon Wrong located there, uh, are, are in red. So, but let's let's uh, get back to traveling here, and let's get back. Oh, we we got one of these guys to fight. Okay, um, how about a? Let's see. Let's cast a magic missile. Let's see what it's going to do to you. It hurts him, we think, but we don't know how much. I'll, I'll give him a dagger this time. All right. Oh, well, this is perfect. Because I want to put Iolo in the front more because he's got greater health and he's got greater armor. Um, I'm going to use up my daggers quicker this way, which is a problem. Maybe if I come up next to the Etten. This is an Etten here. Okay. There we go. And uh, yeah, we didn't do too bad on help, on health for that. Oh, Skelly. Scaly, scaly, scaly. I'm just going to stay right here. Poke him in the side if Iolo hasn't killed him by then. Oh, he's a resilient little skeleton. Uh, now he's fleeing. Let's see if we can get him. There we go. These guys take so long to get off the field. I prefer just to kill him. What do we get there? 18 gold. All right, good. So Lyceum is right here. So we found in Empath Abbey, we we found out about the candle. We didn't find the candle because I think it's in the grove. We couldn't get in the door, blah, 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 blah. There's got to be an item like that here at the Lyceum. So um, we need to do that. We need to find out. So I'm going to start by talking to one of these guys. What's your name? Your name is Guard. What are you, Guard? I have been here for hours. Yes, many hours. See why I'm tired? Yes, I can understand how that would make you tired. It's long, hard work, and the hour in the hours, uh, it's, it's hard work and long hours in the baronal guard. All right. Uh, I don't think that's going to help me help me much okay so you don't really have any information for me let's talk to this guy maybe he can tell me something Timus what is your job here you're here to welcome welcome to the Lyceum the keep of truth know ye how many cities follow the principles of truth I'm going to say no 
Travel and learn. Okay, thanks very much. Um, key. Abyss. Uh, golly, golly, golly. What is it we're supposed to be finding here? Abyss, there's a, there's a key. Do you know anything about the candle? No. See, we don't know what it is. It's, you know, it's the candle of love that we learned about in Empath Abbey, but but this is truth. So what would that be? Maybe the light of truth? Well, light would be candle. Scales? That's more justice. All right. I'm not quite sure what to ask these people. Um, I am a truth seeker. To seek to know the truth. Truth? The principle upon which I meditate. Meditate at each shrine for one, two, three, and then, okay, so we knew that. Okay, so that's, we had that tip before. All right, so let's talk to this guy. I'm a truth seeker, job, truth. I think this is the same tree. Yep, 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 okay. How about these guys down here? They got something different? Lost in thought, what's your name? Truth seeker. All right. All right. Let's talk to this guy that's hiding in the corner. Job. Truth. All right. Yep. All right. There's got to be something here that can help us. No, we couldn't get in here before to talk to this kind gentleman. Maybe this is what we need. So, I think it's time to try our first open spell, don't you? So I'm going to cast it. That would be moi. I am going to cast open. Not. All right. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm standing in front of a locked door. It took the spell, but it's like, not here. What are, you, what, what are you talking about, not here? All right, I think I have to go back to the spell book and see what's what. Okay, after a, a, a brief moment consulting the uh, spell book, it appears that the open command is only meant for locked chests, which is disappointing. All right, so I need to find a key. Old Druid, what's your name? Father Antos, did I talk to you? Job. Knowledge. I seek truth. I seek a key. Abyss. Codex. I guess I'm just not asking this guy the right questions. Uh, principles. Did I ask him about truth? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Principles. Key. I did that. I'm repeating myself now. Stone. I can never spell dungeon. Man, for a guy, mantra? Well, the mantras, I mean, that's the stuff we're going to get at the towns. That's not the stuff we're going to get here. All right. That's the observatory. Okay, that's the observatory. I don't need to go to the observatory. And there's something up there in the if you look in the upper left hand corner there, there's something I want in this room. I think I think what we need is in that room. I think, I think, I think. Let's try talking to Rob. Um can you tell me anything about the key? Nope. Um Can you tell me anything about truth? You're the baron of truth, dude. 
and you can't tell me about truth. Seriously. Seriously. Oh. Bother. Bother. Okay, well. A dungeon? No. All right. Is there somebody in here? Just a guard. Yeah, just a guard. Who is this bozo? Strange. A mage wearing strange armor. Boy, I wish I could wear strange armor. Armor with a U, which is kind of strangely. I wear mystic armor. Art thou a partial avatar? Well, I'm a partial avatar. When thou art eight parts avatar, seek Zircon and Minoc and ask of mystics. I believe I have that noted. I wonder, I wonder when you have the eight parts. Maybe when you've got the stone. When you've, done, when you've gotten all the things, perhaps, for that. For that. Okay, interesting. We, we, we did get that before. That's not new news. Key. You can't help us with the key. Uh, all right. All right. I, I'm not. I'm not getting anywhere here, and it's frustrating me. And I think we don't need the healer, really. And I think it's because I think it's because we need to get into that locked room, and I still have yet to find a key to any place, which is frustrating. All right. Back to the moon gate. Um. It's time to waste them. Oh, good. Holy moly, what in the blazes is that? Something that needs... Oh, 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 he's sleeping. All right, so I'm going to cast Fireball at whatever the blazes that is. A gazer. Double Fireball. Oh, let's see. I'm going to cast Magic Missile. All right, good. What are these other things? I'll try a dagger. All right. Oh, they're a, they're a headless. Oh my gosh. They're terrifying. Okay, so that one's fleeing. I'm gonna wait for this guy to get down to me. And there we go. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste any more daggers. Um. Okay, Iolo, you slept through that battle. Thanks for nothing. 73 gold. Nice. Nice. Okay. Dang. <laughs> that was terrifying. What were those things? Gazers and headless. Golly. Oh, no, I want to be over here. All right, so we want to go to Lord British's castle. And his moon phase is crescent waxing. So that is a, a small... A uh, sliver of white on the uh, left side of that moon. Uh, here at Moon Glow, we were looking on the left moon. Here we're looking for the new moon, all black. So we got to look for that combo. The white sliver on the left for the uh, right moon, and then full black on the left moon. And that will take us to Lord Britain's castle. So we're going to wait here just a moment until we get to that particular combination. So here we are, we made it. We're at Lord Britain's castle, so let's get inside. Go talk to his lordship. I think I have to climb here to talk to him. He's 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 not a first floor kind of king. He's a second floor kind of king. So let's let's talk with Welcome, thou art now level four, and Iolo is now level four. Excellent. Um, know you anything about keys? Okay. Um, shrine? Abyss? 
The Great Stygian Abyss is the darkest pocket of evil remaining in Britannia. It is said that the deepest recesses of the abyss is the Chamber of the Codex. It is also said that only one of highest virtues may enter this chamber, one such as an avatar. Okay. I think we've probably seen that before. Candle. So you can't tell us about the candle. What can you tell us about? What is it that you do here? Many truths we learned at the Lyceum. It lies on the... Yeah, okay, we know that. We've just been there. We've just been there. Um, all right, love. Look for the meaning of love at Empath Abbey. The Abbey sits on the western shore of the Deep Forest. Okay, so then the other one is going to be Courage. Serpent's Castle on the Isle of Deeds is where courage should be sought. Oh, interesting. I don't think I'd had that particular that particular bit of... All right, so that's where that third castle's going to be. All right, is there anything else I want to ask this dude? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done here, sir. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your assistance. I'm going to get out of this. So let's let's take a look at the map again. So if you look just below the, the placard that says the Land of Britannia, you'll see the Isle of Deeds there. And we can see that there is some sort of a structure on the largest island. This is going to get interesting because if you look around the map, at the various moon phases, the moon glow, we got Lord British, we got you, we've got Yalom, um, and then we've got one on that small island on the on the on the western edge of the map, and we've got one over uh, on the uh, eastern shore of Lost Hope Bay. There is seven of them. There's eight phases of the moon. And so there's one that's not shown. And based looking at the phases, the one that we're missing is the one for Magentia, which is the um, crescent waning, uh, which is the uh, small sliver of, of white on the right side. So we're missing that one. So there's not a moon gate down there in the Isle of Deeds. So what that tells us is that we need to get a ship. There are pirates with ships, and we can get ships, and we can sail ships, and so that is definitely on our to-do list at some point. I think first I want to go to all the places, you know, so basically at this point, there are two moon gates we have not yet been to yet, so um, we need to do that, but first we need to uh, go to the rest, go to the places where we already have been, and and get, uh, you know, get our companions. So, uh, okay, so let's, let's continue on. I've gotten what I've wanted out of Lord British. So we are now level four. I should br briefly probably bring up the stats here. So I'm now level four. Uh, ooh, I get more hit points. I've got 400 hit points now. Excellent. I didn't realize that changed. And look at my magic points, 60. Excellent. I think my strength and dexterity, all those went up. So that's great news. That's great news. Um, and if I look at Iolo, his magic points went up a little bit. So he was 13. Now he's 15. I'm assuming his other stats went up. Um, and his hit points are also at 400. So excellent. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. All right. Good news. Um, actually... Let's go back in the, the, how are we doing on our spells? So I got 17 daggers left. We said I've only used two, two fireballs. I used two magic missiles and I'm okay on the magic missiles. When I use them up, I'm, I'm probably not going to make any more unless it's by accident. I prefer the fireballs. It's the same set of reagents. So, okay, let's get a rolling because time is wasting. And I want to get one companion before we stop this. Um, stop uh, this episode. So let's get out of here. And let's leave here. And actually, can I get out of here? Thank you. Let's pop into Britain briefly. And 
we can probably buy some daggers. That's healing. No, thank you. We are full up on health right now. Weaponry. Here we go. Weaponry. All right. So I'm here to buy. It's funny. We've not found any. All we're finding is gold. We haven't found any swords. Uh, maybe that kind of stuff's going to happen when we finally hit dungeons. Um, and we haven't done that yet. Okay. So first of all, let's buy us. How much is a sling? 25 gold pieces. Take one. A fine choice. Okay. Yes, I want some daggers. Um, let's grab. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Yes, I want daggers or C. Two gold pieces each. Okay. Uh, I'll say give me 20. All right. So that's 40. Excellent. I think that's good. Oh, I, I did see something else looking at the uh, the main manual. Is it you're supposed to say buy? Let's see what happens when we do that instead of just pressing enter, pass it. All right, so I want to buy. Um, how much is chain mail? Okay, we can't. Uh, okay, I can't do that on this. So I'll be like a, if I talk to this guy. I'm just curious. Ooh, a spicy woman. Ooh. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can't join because we already have it. So if I go buy, this says buy back. Okay, no. It's, it's like you should be you should be kind and, and say goodbye. It's like, oh, do I really have to? All right, so let's go back to the moon gate, which is right there. So where we want to be is you, and you is give us waxing, which is... 80% uh, white and 20% black. This particular moon gate is, is um, crescent waxing, which is going to be just that sliver of white on the left. So they're kind of mirror images of each other. So I'm going to wait here for that to happen. Okay, here we are, back in you. And, um, yeah, so let's enter. All right. So we're, we're, we're level four now. So there was that, uh, Jana that was up here. So first of all, chanting, fracking, druid, who is silent. What is your freaking mantra? What do you mean? If I could spell. Oh, all right. Um, okay. Goodbye. How about you? Job. Bad, bad. Okay. Did I do this? All right. I'm so confused. I got to find out about the mantra. I got to find out about the mantra for this. I have to do it here. Hello. What is your name? Jana, I mean, we've talked to her before. I'm just going to kind of go through the dialogue tree. What's your job? Okay, justice. I'm hoping maybe before when I talked to her, she said I wasn't advanced enough. So we've skipped two levels. We're now level uh, four. So I'm hoping maybe that's enough for her. Uh, we'll see. True justice satisfies all, false none. Okay. Satisfies quest join. Thou art not just enough for me to join thee. Holy moly, geez, woman, you have just got a little. I mean, this isn't tender. I'm not trying to date you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Now I am not just enough. Um, I guess I will make a note of that. I'm done talking to you, Jana. All right. So let's find out. Somebody was telling us something about the mantra. Okay. Okay. 
I think there was somebody up in here. Let's talk to these people. Okay, maybe Talford here. Oh no, I judge. Yeah, yeah. This is Talford, right? I remember. Yes, this is Talford. Shrine. We already have the rune. It is hidden well. <laughs> Doubtful. Very nice. Okay. Who the bloody heck told me this? Pinrod. I think both of these guys are Pinrod. Uh, oh, golly. All right. I don't think I'm going to continue this. That's the quickness guy. I don't think I'm going to continue this um, on camera. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to comb through this entire place again and find out who told me the clue about look for the chanting druids for the mantra. Ah, I'm. I'm so. I'm so upset with um what's her face jana um and this has been kind of a, a, an episode of frustration the open command doesn't the open spell doesn't do what i thought it would do so i can't i can't go back to, to yalom to try to get the guy that's locked in the room i need to figure out how do i open locked doors that that's what it gets down to i have to figure out how to do it and maybe we need to like i don't know where keys are if they are only in dungeons maybe we've only found one dungeon maybe we need to go in the castle wrong barring that next next one we're gonna we're gonna hit one of these towns that's at the moon gates we've not been to yet that's my plan um at this point um we do need to go back to empath abbey and we might do that since we're close since we're close by just being here and you um because there's i have to i think that's where i have to ask the bard uh so we may well do that next time but then we're going to move on to one of these other cities um until we visited all the cities because we have to visit all the cities but there's stuff we have to get at all the cities and i'm not finding the stuff and that's probably my failure but it's frustrating the heck out of me so at any rate thank you for coming uh i hope you enjoyed this episode please come back for episode 10 which will be out soon and until that time be seeing you